Welcome back to Live Rogue. Today I'd like to talk about two variations of tying and setting up the macrame knot. Here we have a natural anchor. We found a nice tree um, that we would like to anchor off of and um, suppose we're in a canyon and we want to ghost this and not leave any trace or leave any equipment behind. The simplest form of tying a macrame is to take a bite of, of line in the middle of uh, rope in the middle of your line and you'll loop that around the tree or other natural anchor you're using. Yeah, we, we wrap our bite around the tree. After we have that bite, we take one of the strands on the opposing side and pull it through that bite. And then we take another, the other strand and pull it through the next loop that we made and continue pulling them through, pulling that tight line through the loop tight line through the loop, tight line through the loop, and you make a macrame or something similar to like a chain stitch in crocheting. And we want to make six to eight loops. And then when you're finished with that, we'll create a large uh, tail end over here. And when, if you have multiple people in your group, you want to clip with a carabiner, um, clip this up to uh, have a safety on it and then when you repel you repel on the tight end of the, the, the end of the line that does not move and you don't want to mess with the loose end as demonstrated in another video um, and then when you're ready to pull it what you do is you'll pull that loose end and just alternate the pulling motion when you're at the bottom and ready to pull your anchor and it'll come loose nice and easy. The other method of the macrame and ghosting that I would like to show is with a runner. So you'll take your runner and you'll just loop it around um, in the basket fashion around the tree or other anchor. Um, sometimes this is nice if, if your anchor is a little bit hard, hard to reach or um, if, if there's a question whether the system won't pull Worst case scenario, all you'll be leaving behind is uh, the runner. Um, so if, if you're just in a little bit of a trickier situation, first you wanna take the middle of your line <clears throat> and feed it through either one end of the, of the runner or through a quick link or something like that. And we'll lock this off. And then next, similar to other te macrame techniques, you'll take a bite and feed it through the other end. And then you take a strand here. And like we've done the macrame in other, in other um, scenarios, we'll start pulling, feeding those loops through and tying it off again making sure that we dress the knot nicely so it looks pretty and that we know it's all tied properly. Again, you'll go six to eight times. And then at the end of it, you'll have one strand that doesn't pull and the other strand that's loose. You take the loose strand, make a big loop for safety and you wanna dress it. And then if you have a multiple people in your party again you'll want to clip this up to the anchor to tie it off as a safety until the last person's down then you can unclip it then when you're ready to go you'll pull that loose strand first and then again like the other technique pull them all the way until you pull that last bite out it loosens up the anchor and what happens is you can pull that runner right off the off the anchor and if that runner were to get stuck you could just pull one strand of the rope and it would pull the rope through your quick link and then you would still have the rope <laughs> 